Now in our spatial analysis set of criteria for citing these fire towers, one of them said it needs to be on pasture or hay land cover. So I'm taking a look at the National Land Cover Database here, and I'm going to scroll down and see until I see the attribute for uh, the code for pasture and hay. Looks like it's 81. See this right here? 81. Okay, that means that I can go back to my ArcMap session that I have going, and here's my land cover data. So inside here, I've got some attributes, correct? Here's 82, here's 82, 81, pasture and hay. It looks like what I've got is, I'm going to scroll down here, I've got it symbolized 81 being this yellow color. So that's my pasture and hay. Now, I just got rid of the table of contents. This happens quite a bit. So what happens? How do I get it back? I go to Windows, Table of Contents, and there it is again. Great. So I've got 81 being pasture and hay. How do I select that? It's, it's a raster file. So how do I do that? Well, I can use the raster calculator to actually select those cells that meet the criteria, namely 81 being pasture and hay. I can go to Windows here, and I can do a search, and I can search for the raster calculator. Once I do, I'm going to be able to select those cells that are equal to 81, which is pasture and hay. Here is the raster calculator. And my elevation and my slope and all the things that I need for selecting these fire towers are already in there. Right now, I'm just focused on the land cover, which is this one right here. So I'm going to say this layer is equal to, it's a double equal sign. In other words, it's equivalent to 81. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and say OK there. And now I've got a, a grid that is called Raster Calc 2. That's not very convenient as far as a name, so I'm going to go ahead and call it pa uh, NL, NLCD Pasture Hay. Then I'm going to change the zeros to hollow, and I'm going to change the ones to something like a bright yellow. OK, so now I have in here, I'm going to turn off the one below it, this layer, that's my pasture and hay. Now I can move on to the next step in my analysis. Thanks.